All right, guys, I have a, I have a special guest for you. And, you know, I've been bragging on him earlier today. I got on live to let you know that we were going to bring a special um, owner operator here who's been in the game. He's been in it for in the business for uh, some time now. And every time Samuel and I get he's always uh, giving me really, really solid information. Just let me know what's going on out in the world while he's trucking and I'm over here in the office bookkeeping. <laughs> okay, so uh, Samuel uh, actually has his wife on too. And they're 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 doing loads right now and traveling those highways. And so this is a team couple here. So we're excited about her support, you know, them supporting each other. So that's pretty awesome too. <laughs> we've, we've, we've never had a couple on, and so we're happy about it. So without further ado, I want to bring to you uh, Samuel Webb with G and S Freight. How's it going out there, Samuel? Uh, I'm all right. I'm on my way to pick up a load now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm on my way to picking up a load right now. <laughs> As we well, speak. It's good to, I know we hadn't talked in a while, and I'm glad you had a chance to come on today. So, I mean, is it is the money out there or what? Yes, there is some money out here. There's money out here. Sometimes the market is sometimes the market is up and down. Yeah. The fuel prices are high, but you still make money out here. We make money out here. Um just have to work hard. Sometimes when the rates are, are low, you just got to work a little harder, you know, when it's slow to make right. that sleep. But it's good money out here, especially if you have your own business. It's good. It's good. Right. Absolutely. I'm able to take care of my whole family, you know. You got six yeah. children. Yeah. That's take care awesome. Of everybody. The, the part that I love most about what you said is taking care of your family, you know, like this is really a yeah, sound. I make, I make enough to take care. I make enough to take care of all six children, everybody. Wow. And family, fans everywhere, the entire yeah. family. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, we I'm always I have no complaints. Absolutely, we always talk about uh, the no trucking complaints. industry here and how it's growing and it, it just it's just taking a t a turn. It's always been good and had it has it uh, ups and downs, but here recently since COVID. We've noticed here in our office a influx of truck drivers, just people who have decided to go out on their own and, and you yes. know, purchase uh, straight trucks, semis. Um, we've noticed a big yes. influx in those. Um, I'm saying, There's a reason for that. It's a reason for that. There's a good reason for that. A good reason. What happened was when the COVID hit, everything, a lot of stuff shut down. Yeah. A lot of places shut down. And, you know, most big businesses have surplus. They have warehouses full of stuff. Well, for the first time in probably years, all the, everything went empty. Warehouses, businesses all over the country emptied everything because of the COVID. So now most businesses like to keep surplus. They like to keep extra stuff in their warehouses. You know, yeah. like yeah. big corporations, like they might have like two or three months worth of stuff in their warehouses. So they, everything got emptied all over the country because of the COVID, the lockdown. So now you're talking about a country, what, 350 to 380 million people, thousands and thousands of businesses. So now we're like maybe 60,000 short of truck drivers right now in the industry. We need about 60 to 80,000. That's how much of a, a demand it is as far as work. So a lot of people are taking chances and starting their own business and come out of here, come out of here on their own, right. you know, and, and try to take a chance. But um, so, to be honest with you, I mean, the problems that truck drivers are running into out here, from my perspective, I know just me being honest with myself at this age, I'm not embarrassed to tell you the truth, is being unorganized. Being un unorganized. You know? Yeah. Being unorganized. Because it's a lot of stuff with this. And, you know, like sometimes family members don't have time to help you out with certain things. And, you know, we don't have the education knowledge behind a lot of things, you know, as far as uh, – dealing with the accounting and uh, bookkeeping and uh, just a lot of stuff, dispatching, just a lot of different areas. The IFTA, right. So, you know, and that's the killer with this organization. I realized that, that was, that's my, that was, that's my problem. Yes. Yes. Organization. I'm, 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 I want to say something here real quickly because I feel like um, 
sometimes, you know, as a bookkeeper, uh, we kind of feel like we kind of end up doing job um, of a secretary, I guess. And we may feel, you know, it's beneath us. But the the truth of the matter is organization is a lot. It has a lot to do with oh, bookkeeping because success. you're. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 You're, you're the the is, record keeping. Yes. Because from my years of you know experience with other people, I've never listened. You know, I'm a hardhead. I didn't listen. And okay. they've always said most accountants, bookkeepers, you know what they do? They don't just like just do the basics. They really organize your entire business. They organize your like, entire yeah. business. I thought they just, yeah, I just thought they just keep the number. He said, no, they really, I never listen. I'm yeah. like, oh, I could figure it out. And that's why I'm in a position I'm in now far just all over the place, you know what I mean? Trying to get it together. Right, and right. It's needed. It's, it's to be successful in this and make it, you got to have it. That was my, that's part of my little downfall is that I yeah. realized that because yeah. here's what happens. People telling you, different things. Oh, you can file taxes this time. You can do this. I'm getting opinions from different people. And, you know, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm prolonging. I'm having problems with the banks because, you know, I'm writing off everything with a, a, a tax person. It's just a lot of disorganization. I believe yeah. in my soul, if I had, you know, with an accountant or a bookkeeper, someone to keep track of everything. Yeah. A business would be up, like, no exaggeration, like, 85 to 90 percent more successful because organization wow. keeps everything in line everything in line i'm not talking about 10 percent. everything in line because wow. now i believe this is what he told me he says he's learned a lot from his accountant he's out of chicago and i say yeah like what do you mean he says i learned about organization i learned once he organized his businesses yeah he learned to be organized himself just by yes. her organizing everything the firm you know, so I'm like, wow. So now he has everything in order and it's, it's better for him. You know, yeah. just overall, I just believe that overall. that's the key to, yes, especially us, because we don't have time to do, like, for example, somebody who got a brick and mortar business, maybe they may take the time to do a little bit of stuff, but you still need someone to keep track of the, the books and or help organize a little bit. But for us, we don't have time. Truck drivers don't have time for nothing. You know, I just ate just my first time all day. I don't even have time to even think. Yeah. But my mistake was trying to, oh, I can figure this out. I can do it. And it's, it's not, it's no way it's possible. You're better no off. Way possible. It's better off instead of losing, paying to find someone that you, that, you know, that's honest, sincere, trustworthy, and that'll help you manage and organize everything. Even someone even you don't want someone who just want to just do the basics and okay, here's it is most find somebody who really actually care about people or care about the business and care about wanting to help people like a nurse or a doctor who wants to help people. Wow. You know, like with, especially when you can see somebody's business in shambles, like I can, I can see what you can't see. A lot of times you can see what I can't see. Correct. Others can see you better than you can see yourself. Right. So, you know, these people telling me they can see things that I can't see. And this was years ago. I didn't listen to nobody. I'm like, ah, I'm not spending extra money for that. And now I'm, I'm, I'm backpedaling. I'm literally backpedaling. If I had everything organized, I would have able to get loans through the banks because my taxes would have been done correctly. Right. I, I would have I picked the right LLC, the right, everything would have been right. Yes. I would have been more organized because the advice of an accountant or a bookkeeper is, is organization. You got to yeah. be organized to be a bookkeeper or an or accountant, you have to be. And that's where we lack. A lot of us, I got a lot of partners, we all lack organization. 98%, and that's sad, but it's true.